Washington Poindexter Foundation unveiled a new sign that will sit outside a museum dedicated to teaching Columbus about the history of Poindexter Village. It's a historic housing project that had 35 buildings, but now only two remain. Last year, Columbus City Council approved $1.1 million to redevelop the buildings left at the historic Poindexter Village public housing site. With help from the James Preston Poindexter Foundation, the site will be turned into a museum and cultural center. NBC 4's Rob Sneed was there and has a look at what's next. Several people out here who came to today's dedication told me that it feels good to know that these two historic buildings will be used to teach future generations. A crowd of about 30 stood in front of two historic buildings, at one time part of the housing project Poindexter Village off of Champion Avenue. Del Mar McGee and his family moved there in the 1960s. He said that all but two buildings got torn down, yet he's thankful these remain. And I think that's uh, really important in preserving the history and the stories and the culture of this, this village. Today, the James Preston Poindexter Foundation unveiled this sign before a crowd of roughly 30, showing that a historic museum is in the works that will teach the history of this area. She says this is needed in the city. Our Afro-American history in this community is not appreciated and not valued, and this is a way of us preserving that history. Well, I'm really impressed that with the effort that was put forward in preserving the history of Poindexter Village, even though we only have two buildings. Smith says there isn't a set date on when this museum will be open, but she expects it to be open within the next two to three years. Local for you in Columbus's east side, Rob Sneed, NBC4.